This is a virtual Reach the Beach Tour 2008. For those of you who would like to do the ride and preview it ahead of time, and for those of you who have done the ride in the past and want to remember what it was like. So we're out of the driveway, make a quick right turn, and first hill of the day. Great thing about living in Portland is there is no shortage of rain and there's no shortage of hills. At the top now, we make a quick right turn and more hills. This is registration, uh, very organized despite what it looks like. The volunteers on this ride are tremendous. Thank you, volunteers. Schultz Heights Elementary School. This is where the ride officially begins. So we join in the ride already in progress. The first 13 miles of this ride are either flat or slightly downhill with two minor climbs. You can really pick up some speed. It's a beautiful part of the ride. Good way to get going. At about mile 13, we turn right onto Kruger Road and start our first climb of the day. It's about a 175 foot climb. Gets a little steeper as you head to the top. Finally, we're at the top for a thrilling descent. Curvy fast through the trees. Great fun. Great fun, this is the first hairpin turn. Oops, looks like someone forgot to keep the rubber side down. Looks like they're okay though, they'll be picking gravel out of the skin the rest of the day, but other than that, they look, they're up and looks like they're okay. This is the kind of descent that you wish would go on forever, but at the bottom, the road tips up. This time you'll be climbing in earnest, about 660 feet of climbing, topping out at about 950 feet. More climbing. Turn left and more climbing. This isn't exactly the Mark Leeville death march or the torture 10,000, but for the demographics, this part of the ride can be pretty ch challenging. A little more climbing. Then at the end, the road pitches up for one last bite. By this time, the novelty of climbing is beginning to wear off. Out of the saddle action here. Thank God I'm going faster than the guy walking. On the left there, there's a cemetery, and right about now you feel like checking in for the long nap, but. But finally, the summit, followed by a great descent. This is a very manageable descent. You can either push it in the big ring or coast, take it a little easier. Turning on to Bell, however, we enter more switchbacks and you pick up a lot of speed. So 
setting up for the hairpin. No bodies lying around in this one. From here on out, it's a high speed descent, and if you want to push it, with the big ring and the little cog can really carry a lot of speed. Beautiful day from here at the club. You can uh, see just about all the way to Salem. Don't be fooled by the blue skies, though. This ride is typically gray skies, if not raining. Usually it's a bit on the chilly side. Perfect for those of you in the world jersey set. Descent last a few miles. More great curves. Another great view of the valley, Willamette Valley. Eventually the descent ends and turns into flat or some big rollers where you try to carry as much speed down the hill so you can work your way up the hill with as little effort as possible.